what's up guys this is sunny back with another video and today we have a couple products from ingenious now ingenious was nice enough to send three of their products here the first one we have here ingenious sky key one that's a small network controller with this device you can actually control or manage up to 100 access points so that's really, really cool. They are also nice enough to send Ingenious EN Turbo EAP1250 access point here. And also we have here Ingenious PoE adapter. Now what is PoE? So PoE mean power over Ethernet. So basically with a PoE, you can actually power a device here with just the Ethernet cable. Yes, that's really cool. So you don't need a, a power uh, adapter for this sky key right here. You don't need a dedicated power adapter. You can actually power with this PoE adapter here. All right. Now, today real quick, I want to do a quick unboxing for you guys. Show you guys what this products comes with and after that I will do a quick configuration you know uh, plug these uh, PoE to uh, SkyKey here okay power this up and then also connect the engineers uh, access point and then we'll jump into uh, my computer and then I'll uh, check their web interface and basically show you guys how to basically configure just basic stuff nothing in that all right so let me do the quick unboxing for you guys here so first let's open uh engineer sky key here i don't know if you guys can see wow this device is really really small and tiny guys all right so first we have uh the mountain screws and then we have a uh like user manual Okay, and seems like the sky key have like magnet. Uh, oh yeah, it does. All right, let me open this real quick. And here you guys can see the engineer's sky key one. This device is really tiny. We have here two ethernet port. One is for PoE. Okay, and one is regular uh, Ethernet port right here. And then on the other side, we have uh, the power connection for the you know adapter here, and also reset button. And also we have a SD card slot here uh, in case you need to uh, save your settings on the SD card. All right, this device is really small and does have uh, two mounting uh, option here you guys can see you can mount it on the wall or does have a magnet all right now let me open these ingenious poe adapter so first thing we have the power cable all right okay power cable and now let me pull the PoE and come on come on all right so here we have the ingenious PoE adapter okay like I told you guys you can actually power this ingenious sky key one with ethernet you don't need a power adapter for this okay so here we have two uh ports right here and then we have the power connection here and this thing does feel a bit heavy okay not bad and you can also mount this one on the wall or something it does have two brackets here okay all right now let's look at the ingenious access point. Here. 
All right, so the first thing we have, quick installation guide here. You guys can read, optimize your hardware, and then we have the access point here. So here you guys can see the access point. The color is really nice, like flat white. Okay, front, back, and here we have one ethernet port, and we also have the power connection here okay and i believe that's a tiny reset button button inside here okay cool really light and we have two brackets here the mounting brackets and we also have a power adapter here okay and oh we got some mounting screws right here all right so let me configure this real quick all right guys just for testing purpose i have everything on my desk right now so i have the sky key here and also you guys can see i have the engineer's uh, access point so i have the sky key uh plugged into the poe right here Okay, the PoE only have one uh, power over Ethernet port, and that's my Ethernet cable right here coming from my router. So, I had to uh, use the power adapter for the access point. Now, if you have a uh, PoE uh, switch, then you can uh, actually plug this Ethernet. Uh, port to your PoE port then you don't have to plug this uh, power adapter for your access point but my um, PoE game is not that strong so yeah here we have the sky key okay running and the uh, access point okay now let's jump into my computer so I can show you guys the interface real quick all right guys so the first thing you need to do you need to find your sky key ip address now there is a easy way you can do that by logging into your uh, router and you can actually get the ip address for your sky key so let's get the sky key IP address real quick you need to go to LAN setup LAN setup and then go to client list Now I'm using a uh, Iris router from RCN. Now you guys can see here my sky key IP address 192.168.0.12. All right, so that's my IP address right here and I have the MAC address here. So make sure you remember this IP address. So what we can do, we can just right click, select, copy, okay and open another window and we can paste it here enter all right so you guys can see ingenious easy master login okay now default password is admin and the password is password login not now all right, important, uh, disable ingenious cloud remote access if you do not want Easy Mustard to connect. Uh, I'll just ignore this for now. Okay, and basically asking you to change the password. So you can change the password if you want. I will ignore for now. Click OK. 
and now basically uh, asking for your uh, email information here so let's put the email address techtunerlife at gmail.com okay so you can uh, get all the notification and stuff in case anything goes wrong server name um, I can just put here tag tuner life also apply okay update successfully okay and here we have a new update so we can just click on this update real quick and we should update okay so let's just update Alright, so we are done with the update. Alright, so you guys can see the dashboard right here. So the SkyKey does come with the quad core processor and also the access point also comes with a uh, quad core processor. So currently we are using 15% CPU, 13% memory and disk space around 12%. We have the MAC address here, the IP address here, okay, and uptime one minute. And currently we don't have any access point here. We don't have an uh, engineer switch, so you are not going to see any switch here. Now we can create a new project and we can name this project um, work. Okay, and then apply. Okay, all right, so now you guys can see uh, the access point right here, right? Uh, EAP1250, now we can uh, check this one and then we can add. Now, you can add as many you want here, okay? So let's put this say if you wanna add like uh, 10 or 20 access points, you can actually do that. So let's add this one, I only have one, done. All right, so we have one and now, okay, connecting right now, as you guys can see, status. So let's wait for the connection. All right, so now you guys can see uh, the X point is online, okay? And we can actually go to uh, the device name. We can actually click on that and we can finish the configuration. So let's click on that. All right, so under general settings, you got, uh, you know, device name here. You can change uh, the password and stuff. We can leave all that. You got auto uh, configuration here, DHCP. We have a wireless radio setting. Uh, we have the 2.4 gigahertz and the 5 gigahertz here. You can change the settings here if you want. Uh, bitrate control, okay, you can control the bitrate. Uh, when settings uh, we have one device right here okay already check uh, SSID all right and then advanced setting uh, here we have power interval LAN interval uh, the 2.4 gigahertz interval all right the 5 gigahertz interval uh, okay let me go setting again and then click on this first one and here uh, let me just scroll down uh, alright so we want to change the security mode to WPA2 personal and then WPA uh, passphrase uh, we can just type here Tech tuner, okay. Save 
apply setting and all right so currently you guys can see apply and change now let me just show you guys a couple other settings uh, up top we have home project uh, global settings uh, device inventory we have uh, device management here you got summary uh, device uh, config ap group mesh schedule you guys can play around with that monitoring uh, active clients uh, and uh, visualization uh, top load view map view floor plan uh, statics we have uh, x point wireless client hotspot uh, service you guys can uh, make your own hotspot and then maintain and we don't have uh, engineers switches so that's why you see zero here so let's just wait for this all right so you guys can see status online now so we did change some setting now you can change some other setting also like you can change the Wi-Fi name uh, the access point name and stuff you can change those so now if we go back to home now you will see uh, access point we have one total manage we have total one access point and you guys can see the access point name here active all right and then you guys can see the system resource uh, the usage and stuff uh, 3.5% Alright guys, that should be it. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys have any question, please leave your question in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to answer you guys. Overall, I think this access point is for someone who maybe have a bigger house and maybe you have, uh, you know, a couple access point, uh, you know, like you have access point in your uh, every single rooms or maybe you have an office and you need a uh, couple access point or maybe a store you know so definitely this access point is pretty good you know you guys can see the uh, web interface and stuff so let me know what you guys think that should be it see you guys next one peace